Nearly everyone has heard of Bigfoot and the Loch Ness Monster, but what about giant worms that electrocute their prey? Or modern-day triceratops deep in the Congo River Basin? Though A-list beasts like Nessie get all the attention, they are far from Earth's only mysterious creatures. Without further ado, here are eight of the world's lesser-known cryptides. Number 1 The Mongolian deathworm, so named for its ability to slay enemies by spewing acid, is a bright red worm said to reside in the most desolate parts of the Gobi Desert. Some Mongolians claim the worm measures two to five feet in length, can also kill by emanating lethal jolts of electricity. Wow. <laughs> Westerners first learned of the terrifying creature in Roy Chapman Andrews' book On the Trail of the Ancient Man, 1926. Chapman, an American paleontologist, didn't believe the bizarre tales he heard from the Mongolian officials, but claimed the men seemed convinced of the worm's existence, despite never seeing it for themselves. The Mongolian death worm, the name transferred from Mongolian to English, means large intestinal worm, is a creature alleged to exist in the Gobi Desert. The appearance. The worms are two to five feet long, with a thick body. In the book, Trail of Ancient Man, Andrew cites Mongolian Prime Minister, who in 1922 described the worm as, quote, is shaped like a sausage, about two feet long, has no head nor legs, and is so poisonous that merely to touch it means instant death. It lives in the most desolate parts of the Gobi Desert. The Habitat and Behavior The worm is said to inhabit the western or southern Gobi. In the 1987 book, Altogen Sadak Gov, Ivan McClarick described it as traveling underground, creating waves of sand on the surface, which allow it to be detected. The Mongolians say it can kill at a distance, either by spraying a venom at its prey, or means by electric discharge. They say that the worm lives underground, hibernating for most of the year, except for June and July, when it becomes active. It is also reported that most often comes to the surface when it rains and the ground is wet. The Mongolians believe that touching any part of the worm will cause tremendous pain and instant death. It has been told that the worm frequently preyed on camels and laid its eggs in its intestines and eventually acquired the trait of its red-like skin. Its venom supposedly corrodes metal and local folklore tells of predilection for the color yellow. The worm also is said to have a preference for local parasitic plants such as the goyo. Mentions and Investigations In 1990 and 1992, Ivan Mackerel led small groups of companions into the Gobi Desert to search for the worm. Inspired by Frank Herbert's novel Dune, in which giant fictional sandworms could be brought to the surface by a rhythmic thumping, Mackerel constructed a motor-driven thumper and even utilized small explosive charges in a bid to find the animal. Real or not, the deathworm continues to fascinate the Western public. The beast even served as an inspiration for the 1990s trimmers. Unfortunately, expeditions in 2005, 2006, and 2007 turned up no proof of the worm. Number 2. The Orang Pendek is a bipedal primate said to inhabit remote forests on the island of Sumatra. Eyewitnesses describe the cryptide as a ground-dwelling animal covered in short fur and standing about two and a half feet tall to five feet tall. Unlike other cryptides, the Orang Pendek has no shortage of eyewitnesses. Hundreds of people claim to have seen the beast, including nomadic forest dwellers, Indonesian villagers, 20th century Dutch colonists, and modern day explorers. UK researcher Debbie Martyr spent 15 years researching the Orang Pendek and describes the animal as astonishingly powerful. 
Quote, It is the sheer physical power of the Rang Pendek that most impresses the villagers. Mater wrote in the 1993 article for the BBC Wildlife, quote, They speak in awe of its broad shoulders, huge chest and upper abdomen, and powerful arms. The animal is so strong the villagers would whisper that it can uproot small trees. Consensus among witnesses is that the animal is a ground-dwelling bipedal primate, that is covered in short fur. While the orang pendek or similar animals have historically been reported throughout Sumatra, in Indonesia, and Southeast Asia, recent sightings have occurred largely within Kerinci Regency of Central Sumatra. The park, two degrees south of the equator, is located within the Bukret Barsan and features some of the most remote primary rainforest in the world. Habitat types within the park includes lowland rainforest, mountainous forest, and volcanic alpine. Because of its inaccessibility, the park has been largely spared from the rampant logging occurring throughout Sumatra and provides one of the last homes for the endangered Sumatran tiger. Description The Orang Pendek has yet to been fully documented and no authoritative account of its behavior or physical characteristics exist. However, witnesses report some characteristics consistently, so a likely picture of the animal can be conjectured. Ground-dwelling, bipedal, covered in short gray or brown fur, it is about 30 to 60 inches tall, divergent big toe, separate from all other toes as a thumb is from the other fingers. In 2005, National Geographic funded a project to get photographic proof of the beast, but axed the effort after four years of no results. Number 3 Legend has it, South Africa's Howick Falls is home to a monstrous serpent with a horse-like head and a volatile nature. Known as the Inkanyamba, the frightening beast reportedly grows to lengths of 20 feet or more. Cave paintings in the area indicate that the tribes of the Zulu Natal province fear the Inkanyamba and even believed it can influence the weather. Researchers suggest the legendary serpent might actually be a known species of eel, but locals insist that the Inkanyamba is something different. In 1996, a local paper offered a handsome reward to anyone who could provide a photo of the legendary beast. Two photos emerged, though many dismissed them as a fake. Animal X also did a feature on the Inkanyamba, but found no trace of the creature. When doing further research, not much could be said. All I could find is the Inkanyamba is a legendary serpent said to live in the Waterfall Lake area and the northern forests. Doing further research, all I could find is that Inkanyamba is a legendary serpent said to be living in a waterfall lake area in the northern forest known most commonly as the Howick Falls, South Africa. The Zulu tribes of the area believe it to be a large serpent with a horse-like head. Most active in the summer months, it is believed that the Inkanyamba's anger causes seasonal storms. Cryptozootologists have suggested that it might be a form of eel, argumented by the local myths. Number 4 With wings that stretch between 8 and 11 feet, the wandering albatross holds the record for largest wingspan. However, rumor has it much larger birds soar over America. In 2002, residents of Tojik and Monokotak, Alaska, recorded seeing a massive bird that looked like something from Jurassic Park. One man mistook the bird for a small plane, estimating its wingspan to be about 14 feet. Tales of a massive bird near San Antonio have frightened residents for generations, with the most recent sightings occurring in 2007. In 1977, 
a giant bird in Lawndale, Illinois, was reported to have taken a 10-year-old boy. The crew of Monster Quest investigated the Thunderbird claims in 2009, but found no evidence of monstrous birds of prey. A Thunderbird is a legendary creature in Native American lore, named after the sound caused by the animal's massive flapping wings. Cryptozoologists have theorized that the large bird spotted across the U.S. could be a pterosaurus or a pteratorns, species long thought to be extinct. Similar cryptides reported in the Old World are often called rokes. Thunderbirds are regarded by a small number of researchers as having lizard features like the extinct pterosaurus, such as the pteranodon. Reports of Thunderbird sightings go back centuries, and the fossil record does show that giant birds, pteratorns, with wingspans between 12 to 18 feet, were likely contemporary with early man. Today, the creatures is generally regarded as a myth. Early Reports There is a story that in April 1890, two cowboys in Arizona killed a giant bird-like creature with an enormous wingspan. It was said to have had smooth skin, featherless wings like a bat, and a face that resembled an alligator. This description has some similarity to that of a prehistoric pterodactyl. They were supposed to have dragged the carcass back to town, where it was pinned with its wings outstretched across the entire length of a barn. A picture of this event may have been published in the local newspaper, the Tombstone Epitaph. Cryptozootologist.com has an account of this story with the events taking place in the state of Texas. According to Mark Hall, the epitaph did indeed print a story about the capture of a large, unusual winged creature on April 26, 1890. Beyond this single story, however, no one has made any historical corroboration that this event has ever occurred. It is usually considered an urban legend. Utterly fictional tall tales were not an uncommon feature in the newspapers during this era. No one has ever produced a copy of the Thunderbird photograph. Ivan T. Sanderson, being one of the better known, have made claims to its existence. Sanderson claiming to have once owned a copy of the photo, which vanished after he loaned it to an acquaintance in the 1960s. The television program Freaky Links staged a similar photo, giving new life to the Thunderbird photograph legend. Jerome Clark speculates that the description of the basic image in question, men standing alongside a winged creature nailed to a barn, is enough to implant a sort of false memory, leading some people to vaguely remember seeing the photo at some distant, imprecise time. 20th Century Bigfoot researcher and cryptozoology author Lorne Coleman wrote about a series of Thunderbird sightings in the 1940s. On April 10, 1948, three individuals in Overland, Illinois, spotted what they originally thought to be a passing plane, but after seeing a large set of flapping wings, they realized this plane was something very different. A few weeks later, in Alton, Illinois, a man and his son saw what they described as an enormous bird-like creature with a body shape like a naval torpedo. The creature was flying at least 50 feet and cast a shadow the same size as a small passenger airplane. Similar sightings around the same time in St. Louis, Missouri prompted residents to write concerned letters to then St. Louis Mayor Alois P. Kaufman, demanding that the city do something about these reportedly huge birds. The mayor instructed an administrative assistant to set up a trap to catch one of the creatures. But when blue heron tracks were discovered on an island in the Merrimack River, the mystery was considered solved. There was a spike in Thunderbird sightings in the late 20th century. On occasion, such reports were accompanied by large footprints or other reported evidence. Among the most controversial reports is July 25, 1977, a count from Lawndale, Logan County, Illinois. At about 9 p.m., a group of three boys were at play in a residential backyard. Two large birds approached and chased the boys. 
two escaped unharmed, but the third boy, ten-year-old Marlon Lowe, wasn't so lucky. One of the birds reportedly clamped his shoulders with its claws, then lifted Lowe about twenty feet off the ground, carrying him some distance. Lowe fought against the bird, which released him. Viewed by some as a tall tale, the descriptions given by the witnesses of these birds match that of an Andean condor, a large black bird with a white ringed neck and a wingspan up to ten feet. However, an Andean condor's talons are not strong enough to lift heavy objects. 21st century. In 2002, a sighting of a large bird-like creature with a wingspan of about 14 feet was reported in Alaska. The Anchorage Daily News reported witnesses describing the creature like something out of the movie Jurassic Park. Scientists suggest the giant bird may have simply been a stellar sea eagle, which has a wingspan of about six to eight feet. There had also been previous reports of similar creatures in the same area around the same time. The paranormal reality series Destination Truth traveled to Manitowoc to search for the creature. As recently as 2007, sightings have been claimed in the area around San Antonio, Texas. Either way, be careful when you go outside. Number 5 The Amila Toka, or Killer of the Elephants, is a semi-aquatic creature said to resemble a rhinoceros and live in the shallow waters of the Congo River Basin. Some cryptozootologists theorize the beast may be a modern-day triceratops, while others wonder if the Amila Toka and another Congo cryptide, the Mokili Mimbimbi, are one and the same. According to native reports, the Amila Toka is an elephant-sized beast with smooth skin, floppy ears, and a squat body. A single horn protrudes from the creature's snout, which it is used to gore elephants with a single thrust. Tales of the Amila Toka first reached the West in 1933, thanks to G.E. Hughes' 18 years on Lake Benguilu. Hughes reported that Wayushi tribesmen slaughtered a beast meeting the cryptide's description. Decades later, Dr. Roy P. Mackle collected eyewitness accounts of the Mila Tuka, which he then published in 1987, A Living Dinosaur. Number 6 Though most American Bigfoot sightings come from the Pacific Northwest, Florida has its own version of the mysterious beast, the skunk ape. Other names for the foul-smelling creature include swamp ape and Mayakaka ape. According to eyewitness accounts, the skunk beast is an ape-like creature which runs on two feet and smells like rotting eggs. <sighs> The beast reportedly dwells in Florida's isolated swamp regions, though tales have also emerged from North Carolina. Reports of the cryptide were most common in the 1960s and 70s. The United States National Park Service claims the skunk ape is nothing more than a myth, but sightings persist. In 2000, an anonymous woman snapped two photos of an ape and mailed them to the Sarasota County Sheriff's Department. She thought it was an escaped orangutan, though cryptozootologists believe it was a skunk ape. Several skunk ape videos and photos have surfaced in the 13 years since, with the most recent being a grainy video shot in Sarasota County's Mayaka River State Park on March 2, 2013. Number 7 On October 25, 1924, residents of Margate, South Africa, saw two killer whales battling it out with an unknown beast. One witness said the creature looked like a giant polar bear, while others claimed it had white fur and an elephant-like trunk, thus inspiring the nickname Trunko. According to eyewitness reports, 
Trunko gave the killer whales a good fight and could even leap 20 or more feet into the air. However, the unidentified animal eventually succumbed to the attack and its corpse washed ashore 10 days later. For decades, researchers assumed witnesses had never photographed Trunko's remains. However, cryptozoologist Marcus Himmler discovered a photo of the beast in 2010, and three more photos eventually turned up. After reviewing the images, renowned cryptozoologist Carl Schucher determined Trunko was nothing more than a badly decayed carcass of a known whale, and that connective tissue fibers had given the illusion of fur. As for the fight witnesses reported, Schucher claimed that the killer whales had likely tossed the carcass in the air and that witnesses misinterpreted what they saw. Number 7 The idea of unknown creatures living deep within the ocean is nothing new, but could undiscovered species also live miles above the earth? The hypothetical atmospheric beast is a balloon-like, wingless creature that uses lighter-than-air gases to move about the atmosphere. Such creatures could presumably live above other planets as well. Carl Sagan suggested such creatures might live in Jupiter's atmosphere. While several science fiction authors have envisioned beasts from above, however, there have also been eyewitness accounts. Reports describe odd sea-like creatures moving about the sky, creatures resembling octopi, jellyfish, and serpents. In 1961, scientific journalist Bruno Gabbard snapped a picture of a bizarre flying machine soaring above the ocean. The machine resembles a manta ray. Photographer Michael White captured something resembling a flying dolphin or whale over New Zealand. In 1999, a dentist in Italy photographed an object with tentacles zooming high above the earth. The dentist and other witnesses said the object made no noise and moved faster than any conventional aircraft they had ever heard of. Photos of sky serpents, rods, and sky fish could also fall under the atmospheric beast banner. In fact, some cryptozoologists wonder if UFO sightings might actually be sightings of undiscovered creatures from above rather than alien spacecrafts. Hey guys, what did you think about this cryptide list? Comment below and tell me which one of these creatures listed above do you find most plausible. Also, comment below if there's any cryptide stories you are wanting to hear. And oh, by the way, until next time, sweet dreams.